Hello and welcome to the daily MCQ series. In this particular series, we are going to talk about 10 MCQs on a daily basis. They are going to be based on the current affairs of that particular day. And the instructions of this particular MCQ series is very clear. So watch the analysis of the Indian newspaper. We are also going to provide you with the PIB summaries and the videos of this particular uh, the Hindu newspaper analysis and PIB summary are going to form the basis of your information regarding this particular MCQs. They are going to be based upon this and as soon as the question appears pause the video and answer the question and resume it and 100% of the time without fail calculate the score and write them down in the comments section because it is going to act as uh, act as a checking mechanism for you now if you score one to three questions right then they are very low chance of selection if you get four to five right then you can do better you need to grind more now, if you get six to seven questions right, you are basically doing very good and you have almost got it. You need to get to the next level, which is eight or more questions right. And if you get these questions right, eight or more questions right, then there are very high chances of selection. So this is the particular framework which we are going to basically apply. Now we are going to discuss the 10 MCQs, right? So the first MCQ is such that consider the following questions or the, sorry, Consider the following statements. So deep ocean mission is proposed as a multidisciplinary program with emphasis on development of deep sea technology, exploration of deep sea minerals, resources and biodiversity acquisition of the research vessel for exploration, deep sea observations and capacity building. This particular statement is absolutely right. Now the next statement that is the second statement, Ministry of Earth Sciences is the nodal agency for implementing this particular program. So basically, Ministry of Earth Science is the nodal, nodal agency. That is why these two statements are absolutely right. So option C, that is both first and second, is correct over here. Now the objectives of the deep sea mission are such that development of technologies for the deep sea mining, underwater vehicles and water robotics is going to be carried out. Development of ocean, climate change advise, advisory services, technological innovations for exploration and conservation of the deep sea biodiversity is also going to be done. Deep ocean and deep ocean survey and exploration is also going to be done proof of concept on energy and fresh water from the ocean is also going to be done and it is also going to establish advanced marine station for ocean biology so these are some of the objectives of the deep sea mission which you need to remember in order to answer the questions like this in the prelims examination let's now head to the second mcq now this particular mcq talks about the great indian bustard and it tells us to consider the following statements and whether these particular statements are correct or or which of the statements are correct. Now the first statement Great Indian Bustard, the state uh, bird of Rajasthan is considered India's most critically endangered bird absolutely right it is classified as vulnerable under the IUC and red list well it contradicts the first statement itself right. So this particular species is critical in nature. First statement is right, but the second statement is absolutely wrong because it comes under the critically endangered list under the IUCN red list. Now let's talk about the third statement. So this particular statement says that its population is confined mostly to Rajasthan and Gujarat. This statement is absolutely right. We have the largest number of great Indian bustard in Rajasthan and the second largest in the Gujarat. So the two statements that is the first and third, first and third are absolutely correct and it asks for identifying the correct statements. That is why the option C over here is absolutely right, right? So statement one is correct. Statement second is incorrect because Great Indian Bustard are critically endangered under the IUCN red list. And the statement third is absolutely correct. Let's now talk about the third MCQ now. Uh, now the United Nations Convention on Law of Seas that is United UN Clause is an international agreement that establishes the legal framework for the marine and maritime activities, right? Now when did it come into being? Now this particular organization came into being in the 1982. So option A is absolutely right over here. Now the UN clause came into being in 1982 and it is also known as law of sea. It divides marine areas into five zones that is internal waters, territorial sea, contiguous zone, exclusive economic zone and then we have the high seas. It is the only international convention which stipulates a framework for state jurisdiction in maritime service spaces and it provides a different legal status to different maritime zones. Let's now talk about the fourth MCQ now. 
Now consider the following statements about the Asian Development Bank. So Asian Development Bank is a regional, uh, regional development bank established on 19th December 1966. This statement is absolutely right. Now the next statement that is it is headquartered in Manila, Philippines. This statement is also absolutely right. So option C that is both first and second are correct. So both the statements are basically correct. So the option C is very right. Now the fifth statement that is consider the following statements about the salt flats. A salt flat forms from a natural body uh, whose recharge, recharge rate is lower than the evaporation rate. This statement is also right. Now Salar de Uyuni is a, in Bolivia is the world's largest salt flat. This statement is also right. Now Salar de Uyuni contains more than half of the planet's lithium reserves. This statement is also absolutely correct. So option. B over here is absolutely correct because all the statements are correct. Now let's talk about the sixth MCQ. Consider the following statements with the respect to WIP. So the office of WIP is based on the convention of the parliamentary government. Absolutely right. Now WIP can direct a member of parliament or member of legislative assembly on whom to vote during the presidential election. This statement is absolutely false because WIP cannot direct a person to in the presidential election because presidential elections are uh, happen on the basis of secret ballot nobody is allowed to check whom you voted right now if an mp violates his party's whip he faces expulsion from the house under the anti-defection act this statement is absolutely right so option sorry the statement first and the statement third is absolutely correct but the statement second is absolutely wrong now this particular question talks about choose the incorrect statement so the incorrect statement is statement second that is why option c that is two only is absolutely correct now statement two is incorrect because uh, there is non-applicability of the whip in the case of the presidential elections right now the seventh mcq talks about considering the following statements regarding the sites agreement now the conference of parties to the sites is the supreme consensus based decision making of the convention absolutely right united nations general assembly has declared march 3 as the world wildlife day to commemorate the signature of the sites treaty 1973 this particular statement is also right now the consider the third statement the theme for the world wildlife day 2023 is recovering key species for uh, ecosystem restoration this statement is absolutely false because the theme of this particular year is partnership for partnerships for wildlife conservation and that is why option a that is first and second statements are correct is absolutely right let's now talk about the eighth mcq now consider the following statements about the swami fund so it is india's largest social impact fund especially founded by completely stressed and or completing stressed and stalled residential projects this statement is absolutely right now the fund is sponsored by the ministry of finance government of india this statement is also right so both the statements are correct that is why the c c option that is both first and second is absolutely correct now let's move to the ninth mcq karma deck islands recently in news is located in in which country this particular Karmadek Islands belongs to the New Zealand. That is why option C is right. Now these are, now they are, the, this Karmadek Islands are volcanic island groups in the South Pacific, 1000 kilometers northeast of Auckland, uh, New Zealand. They are the dependency of the New Zealand. And that is why option C is absolutely correct. Let's now talk about the last MCQ for that day, which is the framework mechanism for mutual recognition of the qualifications was signed by India with which of the following countries. So which of the following countries uh, is the, with which India signed the framework mechanism? It is basically Australia. So India and Australia signed a framework mechanism for mutual recognition of qualifications that will help ease the mobility of students and professionals between the two countries. And the agreement is part of the commitment by Prime Ministers of both countries at the second India-Australia virtual summit held on 21st March 2022 wherein they had agreed to establish a joint task force for mutual recognition of the qualifications. So the qualifications are going to be mutually recognized. The qualification from India is going to be recognized in Australia and the Australian 
college degree is going to be recognized in India. So a task force is also established and it was set up accordingly consisting of senior officials of the education and skill ministries and regulators on the both sides. So option B is absolutely right. That is there was sign on, signing of mechanism, framework me mechanism between India and Australia. So these are the 10 MCQs which were there. For today, we are going to discuss the 10 MCQs on a daily basis uh, every day on nine, at 9 p.m. So stay tuned. And this is it regarding this particular video. Have a good night. Bye.